Douai, the new gateway of regional territory. The further strengthening of the economic alliance among ASEAN countries has led to the next chapter in Myanmar-Thailand cooperation and has resulted in the implementation of an economic gateway development project. The project will serve as a new economic gateway, providing an alternative sea route that will lessen the dependence on the congested Straits of Malacca, reducing transportation times and logistic costs. The road link and railways link to Thailand are primary cross-border infrastructure that will enhance the competitiveness of the Douai project in favor of the potential investors. They will enhance the strategic importance as hub for land logistic route. Together with these road and rails, there are also oil and gas pipelines and transmission line along the alignment from Douai Project to Thailand for an integrated transportation system. In addition, there will be Trans-Asia Railways connecting China and Douai Project. Accordingly, the integration among port, road, and rail will boost the capacity and efficiency concerning the distribution channels for import and export of goods. With this deep sea port, this will facilitate cross-border trade and play a significant role for the new face of the world's logistic routes. And this will act as a shortcut pioneer of global transportation. For an optimum advantage, the deep sea port and industrial estate will be easily accessible and have greater potential by connecting to the integrated cross-border transportation. One of the strategies adopted for Douai Project aims to take a maximum advantage of the port's geographical and economic location in order to ensure its sustainable growth as a universal port offering value-added services. The arrival of significant volumes of cargo will boost the development of the Douai Distribution and Logistics Center. The Y project will open the doors to the international business and investment societies, which is essential for the sustained development. On 19 May 2008, a memorandum of understanding between the governments of both countries was signed. Whereas on 12 June 2008, under the consent of the Myanmar Port Authority, a memorandum of understanding was signed with Italian Thai Development Public Company Limited concerning the implementation of a feasibility study and the execution of a comprehensive project site investigations. Along the shoreline of the Douai province in the southwestern part of Myanmar, a deep sea port and industrial estate development project will be built. With a coverage area of more than 250 square kilometers, the site to be developed will serve as a gateway to the new era of Trans-Asia Economic Corridor and such will have a significant cost-reducing impact on the transportation of industrial goods as well as on the people to and from the neighboring countries and far beyond. The realization of this project will result in a significant increase in employment opportunities in both countries and is expected to promote the tourism industry in the region. The objectives of the Douai project are consistent with the vision of ASEAN to become a prosperous, equitable, and integrated subregion. These objectives can only be achieved through enhanced competitiveness and a greater sense of community. Measures to achieve these objectives include the development of deep sea port and industrial estate and forms an integrated Trans-Asia corridor. For the optimal execution, the project area is determined by the industrial classifications. The zoning ranges from heavy to light industries a township, and other facilities. Zone A comprises of heavy industries, such as a coal-fired power plant, a steel mill, a fertilizer plant. In addition to this, there will be a deep sea port capable of handling vessels up to 100,000 deadweight tons, 
and a shipbuilding yard comprised of a large sized dry dock with the capability for very large crew carriage. Furthermore, there will be terminals and a fully equipped cargo handling yard. The left side of the port, indicated as Zone B, will be developed for the oil and gas industry with a tank farm, an oil refinery, a gas separation plant, and a combined cycle power plant. Next to this, at Zone C, there will be a petrochemical complex for processing of end materials derived from the oil and gas industry. In this area, there will be factories for both upstream and downstream products, such as benzene, olefins, plastic, nylon, textiles, and PVC. The area further inland, indicated as Zone D, is allocated for medium industries, including the manufacturing of auto tire, paper, gypsum, rubber, automotive assembling plants, and steel fabrication yard. Whereas the nearby Zone E is allocated for light industries, such as garment factories, cosmetics, computer parts, and food processing plants. Along the perimeters of the site, there will be the Authority Center, Township and Commercial Complex, as well as other facilities in a format of one-stop services to allow potential investors to complete all formalities under one roof. To accommodate for the well-being of the residents and workers of the Dewey Project, specific utility service and supporting infrastructure will be implemented to develop the better life quality while maintaining the green environment. For example, they will include reservoir, water supply, and wastewater management in order to enhance welfare of the whole community. Upon development of Dewey's Deep Sea Port and Industrial Estates Development Project, the social and environmental plan is carried out in parallel. It is basically to bring in the prosperity and improvement in level of and livelihood of the communities and to bring people the harmony to the development of the project as a whole. A multi-sized industrial estate, improving infrastructure connecting the region, facilitating cross-border trade, tourism development, environmental protection and proper water management, enhancing productivity and competitiveness. Based on the principles of free will and equality in a format win-win relationship of the Dewey Project. Dewey Port connects the world a step forward to a brighter future.